I recently had a viewer comment on one of my videos and he didn't write JK or put a smiley face, so I don't know if he was joking, but he said, uh, I do not see the need for HTML5. Everything I need is with HTML4. I don't see the need to move on to HTML5 or something along those lines. Um, and I really hope that's a joke. Because um, <laughs> HTML5 is great. It's, 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 I don't know how else to explain it. It's eliminating the need for proprietary things like Flash. I'm not saying everything in HTML5, you know, people will write stuff that's proprietary, obviously, but uh, the, the standard. Flash was really our only option in the past for decent video, audio, and games. Uh, anything real visual or audio, basically media related. HTML solves that. We can play videos, we can play audio, uh, and um, we have the HTML5 canvas, uh, which uh, certain browsers even support, uh, OpenGL, uh, so you can do 3D stuff in the browser, and it's all rendered by the browser rather than a third-party application, and even worse, a proprietary third-party application like Flash. So in that aspect, those are some features that um, are definitely great. It eliminates the need for that proprietary Flash. Um, another great thing, I mean, and there's lots of great things about HTML5, um, is the features of the different types of input. Uh, and you may not know this, a lot of people don't realize all the stuff that HTML5 does. It took me a little while to, to uh, see all the things it does. But there's a lot, of, before we had like text input boxes, um, well, now you can set it so those input boxes are numbers, um, phone numbers, email addresses. And what these do is you just tag those tags, you give attributes to those tags saying that they're those type of inputs. And um, if it's in a form, when you go to submit the form, the browser will check to see, is this a valid HT, uh, um, email address or phone number? It doesn't have characters or formatting that isn't. Um, set up right for that. Now, in the past you could do that with JavaScript, but now there's no need to have that extra little script in there. The browser should, if you try to submit something that doesn't match the type of input, it will let you know, uh, which is great. Uh, still, in a lot of cases, you're going to want to check it on the server side, but prevents those submits um, that are unnecessary. Um, also, those type of inputs on certain devices like a cell phone will bring up a different type of keyboard. If you set something uh, input to be a number or a phone number input, uh, not only will it check when you submit the form, is this in a format of a phone number, um, but when you click on that, instead of bringing up a full keyboard, it will bring up a numeric keyboard. And it's a lot easier to type in a phone number on a number pad rather than a keyboard on your touch screen, which just has the row of numbers at the top after you click the number button. Um, so those are the little features that really, really help out. Um, another great thing is threading. Um, HTML before did not thread, um, and I, I, I should have looked up. I'll try to remember to put a link in the description uh, to a, a website that uh, was put up a long time ago uh, when HTML5 start, just first started. Um, and it was to show you that some of the early features of HTML5. Um, at the time, most of them only worked in Chrome. I think Firefox now supports a lot of them and other browsers are getting features more and more. Um, but it showed an example of threading. And if you are do any type of programming, you probably know what threading is. It's basically allowing uh, processes to continue even though another process may have not completed. Um, so they gave an example. I think it was a Google map of some sort. And you click a button and it would plot uh, these coordinates, little lines, traveling from, from one spot to another on the map that showed you doing it without HTML5 using older format and you click it and it sat there, nothing, 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 and then boom, all the lines appeared. Uh, in HTML5, you don't have to wait for the entire process to complete for it to finish. You click it and it just starts drawing the lines. Um, so basically my point here is you may not think that you're going to use HTML5, but it is a step forward in both features and um, and in uh, speed and uh, just 
functionality altogether. And if you are a programmer, you should always strive uh, to improve things, which is what they're doing with HTML5, both adding features, even though you may not use all those features, they are there, you don't have to use them, but in functionality, in speed, and in, in just making it more efficient, HTML5 is better at because now the browser is going to be doing a lot more of the rendering rather than third-party stuff, and it's going to do a, a more efficient job of it. So to say I don't see myself using HTML5, HTML4 is good enough, maybe it was good enough, but HTML5 is better, and saying that is like saying, oh, Windows 95 is good enough for me, I don't need new features. Uh, things need to progress, and if you are a programmer, if you are into computers, you should understand that moving forward and making things better um, should be your main goal because computing is all about efficiency and that's what HTML5 does for us. It uh, eliminates unnecessary code, unnecessary software outside of the browser, um, which in my opinion would help with some security issues because um, your browser is meant to protect you um, from malicious stuff on the internet. And, um, yeah, there's going to be security holes in browsers here and there, but you start adding in these plugins like Flash, uh, Silverlight, Java. Now, um, they may not be more or less secure than, than your browser, but now you have to worry about each of these things being secure, where if you can get the browser to do everything, now you really should only have to worry about the browser rather than saying, well, the browser's going to load Flash, and Flash has permission to do this. Hopefully, there's no, I don't have to worry about Flash and Java. It's just less to worry about, in my opinion. Um, and some people may argue that. But, but more things you have going on in the browser that have access, direct access to your hard drive and your system, the more likely you're going to have problems. And even if even if Flash is more secure than your browser, it's still one less thing to worry about because you still need that browser in, in all the cases. So anyway, those are my thoughts on HTML5. Uh, thank you for watching. Please visit my website, filmsitechris.com. That's Chris the K. There's a link in the description. And feel free to comment below. Let me know what you think about HTML5. Um, these were my views on it. I think some of it's opinion, uh, but I think a lot of what I said is technical, and uh, I don't think you could really argue that these features aren't helpful and make things more efficient. So, thanks again for watching, and I hope that you have a great day.